I'm so into you, I'm so into you, I'm so into you, baby. Hey guys, so, <laughs> look at my cat right there, she wants to be in the camera. So, today I'm doing something different that I've never done before. I'm going to be baking a cake and I decided why not take y'all for a ride and take y'all along to see if this is going to be a fail or I'm going to be surprisingly amazing at it. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. I'm making it for um, a birthday party. Well, she's going to have it on her birthday. She's not going to have it for her actual birthday because I'm not making it big enough for that day. But I'm going to insert pictures of how it's supposed to look. And hopefully I can get it to look like that. And hopefully I can do a good job because this has always been like a dream of mine to like bake and decorate cakes. So I'm excited. I'm a little nervous because I want it to be perfect. And just a disclaimer, I'm not doing it from scratch. I'm using a box cake and I'm going to doctor it up a little bit because I'm not about to ruin this cake from the beginning i need to give me uh, like a little head start or something look at her she wants to be rubbed but yeah i'm gonna just film that i'm gonna see take you along with me what? okay so we're gonna use duncan hines classic yellow cake, cake mix some vanilla jello pudding, two sticks of butter, and four large eggs. Yeah. So I want to be extra and I'm going to sift the cake mix. So sifting it is taking forever. I think I should not have, I, should, I should just skip skip this set because I'm over it. I don't even do the whole bag yet. I still have like four hours left. Right. So after hours and hours of sifting, I'm going to add the gel. butter and milk mixture you see that that's all butter so I melted the butter I guess and then I added the cold milk and the cold milk made the melted butter 
solidify and now I have this mess and I don't know what to do with it. So I'm going to look it up to see if I can fix it because that means I have to start all over. Like, it should not have chunks. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm gonna try to fix it. So I think I'm gonna try to warm up. I'm just gonna try to warm up. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to strain it and try to warm up the eggs. I mean, I don't know. I'm just lost. I don't know what I'm doing. Someone save me. I was gonna try to warm up the milk, but then I realized it had eggs in it. Oh, but then if I warm up the butter, it's just gonna do the same thing. I I'm gonna make a whipped butter because it's not as chunky. I'm gonna whip it up, add the eggs and the milk, mix it together, and add it in there, and hope and pray for the best. My money on my mind, got a meal out the deal, and I'm still in the grind. That shorty says she's filling my staff, she's filling my flow. A girl from what did they buy, and they ready to go. Or maybe I just add the milk to I think I'm just gonna throw this out and add the melted butter to her there. And then add the milk in. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw this out and just start over with the melted butter. Hola, yep. soy Dora. I think that's the best idea. Best idea I ever had yet. Okay, so we're back on track. Melt the two more sticks of butter. And instead of having a mishap again with the eggs and milk, I'm adding it just straight into the cake and pudding mixture. Then I'm gonna add that into there and hopefully it works out.
in the oven. Okay, now we'll have to find it and cut the shape on the top of the logo. First, I'm just going to sprinkle some cornstarch. What's the word I'm looking for? Convenience, something easy. So, no homemade icing, store but Pillsbury Classic White. So I'm just gonna take a dollop on there, put it on there, and then start frosting the cake. And putting a dollop helps keep the cake from shifting. you guys can hear me but for some reason I thought this is gonna be easy simple little cake decorating making this I've been struggling this whole time I've been I brought two things of frosting because I made an extra layer and I knew I was gonna have enough so when I did that I got the wrong color frosting So I came, I came back to Walmart to get the right color, and there's none. Okay, so I'm back in action. Publix had my frosting. It had, they have like a whole bunch compared to the other stores I went to. So I'm about to get started back on this cake.
forgot to record when I was doing some of the other stuff, the other decorations, but now I'm on the last track.